The other day, I finished reading the book Shoe Dog. It's the memoir of Nike's creator Phil Knight and how he built the billion dollar sports empire that exists today from a debt ridden experiment operating from his small bedroom in Portland, Oregon. Phil was a young business accountant working in Portland. His job was monitoring sales reports and projection plans. The work was dull and the daily tasks were a far cry from Phil's true passions. Phil had been a track runner at the University of Oregon, and his dream was to build his own business selling competitive running shoes. So, in 1964, Phil set up a business partnership to sell a Japanese shoe brand called Panitsuka Tigers in the United States. There was just one problem. Next to no one was running, making running in the 1960s an incredibly niche market. Phil reached out to the biggest running enthusiast he knew, his University of Oregon track coach, Bill Bowerman. Bowerman wasn't just an influential track coach, he was an absolute shoe nut. He famously worked in a small cobbler shop beneath the university bandstands. Bowerman was known to disassemble and reconstruct shoes in order to get his runners an edge on the competition. Bowerman loved the pair of Onitsuka Tigers Phil sent to him, and together the two men founded the company Blue Ribbon Sports. But what Phil didn't know was he had just partnered with the man who would be credited with sparking the American running craze. You see, the same year Phil was setting up his first shoe deal, Bowerman took a plane trip halfway around the world to attend a running workshop in New Zealand. In his time there, Bowerman noticed something odd. Running in New Zealand wasn't just for competitive runners and athletes. It was a social and fitness routine practiced by people of all ages. Bowerman loved this idea and thought it should be fostered in the United States. So three years later, he published a 90-page pamphlet called Jogging, a physical fitness program for all ages. The book became a nationwide bestseller, selling over a million copies in its first year. Soon after the book's success, Blue Ribbon sales skyrocketed. So Phil was able to ditch the traveling salesman gig and set up an office for his rebranded company, Nike. But this was just the beginning of Bill's impact on running in America. Through his success as a track coach at University of Oregon, he was offered a position to coach the US men's Olympic team in 1972. Just so happens that under Bowerman, the US track team went on to win six gold medals, which is one of the best US track teams in American history. Hey. Coach, first of all, I'd be interested in your reaction in uh, participating in the coaching of these world-class athletes. First, uh, Hal, call me Bill. Remember, I don't like to be called coach. I'm <laughs> sensitive about that. Okay. Bowerman's coaching produced some of America's most popular runners of all time. Steve Prefontaine, Frank Shorter, and Bill Rogers. Through their success, these athletes put running on the map in America. And they trained and learned from Bill Bowerman. But Bowerman's legacy doesn't just lie in his coaching, it also lies in his innovative shoe design. His invention of the waffle sole revolutionized the running shoe, while his creation of the Nike Cortez became a nationwide staple for runners. Bowerman's influence on running in America is undeniable. And it's something that was integral in both building Nike's success and its corporate identity. Knight writes about Bowerman with the utmost respect and admiration. Remembering him as a man who was in love with running, dedicated to improving his athlete's character and performance, and ultimately as the man that helped put running on the map in America. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. If you want to learn more about Nike and their rise to success, I cannot recommend Shoe Dog enough. It is easily one of the best books that I've read so far this year. 
And if you want to see more content like this, then make sure to subscribe. And if you want to get in touch with us, have any video ideas, or just want to chat, I guess, hit us up on Twitter, at GoalGuys. And yeah, talk to you guys soon. Cheers.